What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. When the Kickstart backed Pebble smartwatch first launched, it was essentially just a notification machine. It lets you know when phone calls were coming in, emails, sort of other push notifications that your phone showed you. But the Pebble smartwatch has grown up. It got a big brother in the form of the Pebble Steel, and it now has its very own app store. Let's take a first look and see how it performs. <laughs> So the Pebble Steel is officially shipping today, but functionally wise, it's exactly the same as the original Pebble smartwatch. You just get a more sort of upscale look to it. So with the new OS and developer access, we can now finally get access to all those delicious things that the Pebble smartwatch had all along. Things like accelerometer and sort of other meters that can turn it into almost a fitness band. So let's take a first look at some of the stuff we can do. So first, you're going to have a brand new Pebble app. Uh, it's the Pebble Dev app, which lets you sort of get full control over your phone. It looks different uh, now, too. So let me go ahead and go into the main screen to see what it looks like. Uh, so you go ahead and hit that button. You can go access to My Pebble, uh, Get Watch Faces, or Get Apps. Let's jump into Get Apps, since that's really the big thing here. So you got now sort of an orange hue, and it's divided into six sections. So you've got daily tools and utilities, notifications, fitness, uh, and games. They all have different apps inside of those. So obviously the hope here is that developers will make their own uh, Pebble app, but I'll show you just a quick example of what they look like. Let's go ahead and jump into Daily, for example. You can see what it looks like. It goes ahead and opens up. It's its own app store encapsulated inside of this application. You can find what you like. Whenever you find that you want, just go ahead and hit Add, uh, and it's going to show up uh, on your watch, assuming you have room. So we'll go ahead and hit this. We'll go to My Pebble, and you now have what's called a Pebble Locker, and it can store eight apps here, and if you have more than eight apps, it's not a problem. Uh, they'll be right here down below. If you want to add them back to your device, you go ahead and tap it. You can load it uh, on or just delete it completely. So only enough memory uh, to store eight apps. So what do apps look like and what do apps do? Uh, so let me go ahead and show you. I've got one right here called Pebble Cards. So let me go ahead and open that up here. And I'll go settings so you can see what the settings look like for an app. So let's go ahead and open it up. You can control all kinds of notifications here. So uh, I've got, for example, I want it set on night so it makes the screen look dark. You can have it be day and it'll be lighter. Uh, you can do weather, different stock options, sports teams, you can pick uh, driving times, you can pick transit, sports teams, battery, RSS, stocks, and all kinds of other options. Select it, select it and just hit save. So you see what it looks like here, you, know, you can scroll through. Um, so for example, there we've got uh, watch battery. Um, I've got the next Laker game coming up here. I can see some stocks I've got. So there's Tesla, I can see Apple. Uh, weather will show up here as well. I can sort of keep scrolling through and have a ton of different options uh, that'll show up. It looks really neat. Um, you don't access these the same way you would uh, watch faces, unfortunately. So in order to access these, you gotta go and hit the, the menu button here. Let's see. So go ahead and open up Asteroids. It takes advantage of the Acceleron where you can sort of old school Asteroids game. You can just blast the Asteroids uh, and use the button. So that's sort of what games look like on here. It gives you a vibrate. Uh, notification when you lose. So all kinds of really cool things here. Uh, the UI though again is still pretty similar um, but you access things a little bit differently. So if you go ahead and go to you know watch faces ordinarily you go ahead and pick your watch face and then you can just scroll through all of them but the watch faces now are not the same as apps. So you can't scroll through uh, when you're on a particular watch face like you could uh, on an app. So I'll go ahead and go back. So here's a watch face. I can scroll through and see other watch faces, but no way and I go through this am I going to see any of the apps, like that card app, for example. So a bit unfortunate there. I would have liked to have seen that. Um, but you now get access to a ton more watch faces uh, and a whole bunch more on the app front. This is going to be shipping with the new Pebble Steel. There's a ton more functionality here. I just want to give you guys a quick overview uh, of what it looked like, what the new app looks like, and sort of the fun things you can expect with Pebble. You'll be able to check in on Foursquare. There's an ESPN home screen, all kinds of other sort of cool stuff hopefully coming. Presumably we'll see Facebook and other social media integration here, Twitter uh, and such. I'm pretty excited. It's a really nice addition uh, to the Pebble smartwatch. You can decide if you want the less expensive, the more expensive option. You're really going to get the same functionality, just different aesthetics on both. It's a nice addition to those folks that backed uh, the watch. I really like that Pebble sort of didn't make these features only for the Pebble Steel. They sort of rewarded the folks that backed it originally, initial supporters, uh, to sort of give it all the awesome things that the new OS has to offer. So what do you guys think? Is it going to be enough to make you pick up uh, a new Pebble smartwatch or maybe look to pick up a Pebble Steel? love to hear your thoughts. Do that in the comments right down below. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger. See you next video. Bye-bye. 
What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.